Okay, we have it out, but it's not a total success. It did finish cracking all the way to here. So it's completely cracked in two from here over to there. And that piece came out, which is no big deal. We'll line it back up and we'll put it back in. There are some pieces missing, and we're going to fill that in with super glue and baking soda and JB Weld. All these cracks are going to get JB Weld on the back, maybe some uh, epoxy, like uh, fiberglass epoxy or something. You have to be really careful with these old ones. They're very brittle. Best thing to do is just buy you one of those covers and glue it down over the top of it. It looks exactly the same. Just a few things like around here might look off a little bit, but otherwise it doesn't look too bad. Eventually I'm going to go to the junkyard and find me another one and get it. But I'm not paying $200 for a cracked one from a junkyard either. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and set this up and get it ready to um, plastic weld. And we'll be back. All right. I got the dash out here in the shop doing some welding. I already did a few pieces to kind of stabilize it. I welded the end down here. This crack. The end of that crack. I welded this one. But this one's so bad I don't think it's going to hold too well. I'm going to have to put some epoxy in there to hold it like JV Weld. And you see how I crossed over the three there with that one. Um, trying to get it lined up. I'm going to fill all the cracks with JB Weld. What comes through, I'll sand it down. That one right there is holding that crack together. There was a crack here. Put a couple here to try and support the uh, socket for the uh, daylight sensor. And I'm probably going to have to JB Weld these back down. A few here. This one's really bad. I haven't even started on it yet. Trying to keep it from going through right there and keep it from continuing on over here. And uh, how many more we got here? I still got to put this piece back in. Oh, and you see these things right here? These are the clips I was talking about. And they're, they're, they go in there like that. And uh, they bite into the dash. This one doesn't go here, but they're like that. They bite into the dash. But anyway, they're no good anymore. Unless I can figure out a way to get them in there. I think this one might have been holding it. And when I pulled it, I pulled it loose. But that's a lost cause. Probably use some double-sided tape to hold it down until I get things organized with a new dash. But anyway, um, let me set this up and I'll show you how we do this. Okay. These are staples that you use with it. There's the different kinds. There's more straight. There's more crooked. There's uh, uh, corner pieces and stuff like that. What you do is you put it in the end of the gun like this. And then you put it down across the crack like that. You press the trigger and it heats up. And you just let the tool do the work. I think that one went through. We don't want it to go through. You just let it cool. Once it cools, you just pull it. It comes right off. Just like that. And you're going to do that all the way across the seam of the crack to fix it. That one over there is going to require a lot more than just plastic weld. But that's how we're going to do this. So let me uh, go ahead and weld up all these spots. And we'll be back. All right, I'm back on the... Uh, dash panel here the uh, dash cover whatever you want to call it um i got some uh fiberglass a repair kit what did auto zone it was like 40 bucks for tax <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to trim off all these staples and you could do it the hard way and just grab yourself some snips and go at it but i think i'm just going to break out my grinder i have a um Ryobi cordless grinder. I'll just snip them off, rough it up. Um, I should have a flat flapper disc over there. Go over the whole thing, rough it up, and then we'll just stick some uh, fiberglass mesh on there and some resin and thick, you know, make it thicker and stiffen it up. <clears throat> should be good to go. And then after I do that, we're going to do something with the top. I have to tape off these gaps that I have, like that and that because we're going to fill them with fiberglass resin 
um, maybe some JV weld, what don't, doesn't fill with resin. And then we're going to go from there. So let me go ahead and get my grinder out and knock these staples off and smooth it out so, you know, rough it up so that the fiberglass will have something to bite to. <clears throat> Plus it'll help clean it up some. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I went ahead and I ground off all the little staple ends. And uh, as you can see, we had a little bit of a problem. And the finer detail parts, like right in here, uh, when I hit them, with the grinder the uh, little pieces went flying and the staples come out so I had to basically re-glue it all together with JB Weld here that hole you see in the middle of the picture there that's for the daylight sensor I still have a little space there to fill in right there but I'm gonna wait till this sets up because all that keeps moving around and then uh, this over here held together pretty good there was a hole there so I filled it in with some JB Weld and then that was so brittle, it just fell apart. It couldn't hold itself. And uh, this right over here, um, the plastic was so brittle in this one area right in here that staples just came right out, the uh, welding staples. So I put a few more back in there and I just filled the whole thing with JV Weld. And there was a hole there and I filled it. And then there was a little bit of a gap there, so I filled it. And uh, I can see I need to put a little bit more up in that hole there. That has to be cleaned out because that rests against the uh, actual dash inside the truck. So I have to fill it with JV Weld and clean it out. And I think the rest of it looks pretty good. And we can put uh, fiberglass on, glass on it. Some of it will just get resin like right in here. That will probably just get resin. But then across here we'll put a piece of uh, mesh. And then we'll bring that mesh right on up through here. I haven't sanded it yet because I stopped to do the repairs. <clears throat> but I'm going to let this JB weld set up and then I'll sand it off and you know, I'll sand off the areas we're going to put some fiberglass mesh on in fiberglass. See how it turns out. All right, we'll be back in a little while. <clears throat> All right, this is what you get with the kit when you uh, buy it at uh, AutoZone or Advance or whatever auto parts store you use. You get this can of resin, 28 ounces. You get a little spatula. You get a little tube of hardener. You, you don't get this. That's mine. You don't get this or that. And you get this big old piece of fiberglass matting. And if you buy the one size down, they sell for $32. This was $38, and the other one's $32. You don't get the box is actually about the size of this can. <laughs> and you don't get much in it at all. So. I went ahead and bought this one. If I got left over, I got left over. So that's what it's going to be. These are some of my wife's fine Tupperware dishes. We're going to use these to mix the resin in. <clears throat> and uh, they give you a little spatula. This little rubber thing here. So we're going to use that. And if I need more, I bought a pack from Walmart. And I, bought, I got these from the house. I'm using it to cut the mesh with. And we're going to cut a few pieces and lay them out. And then we'll put the resin over the top of them. So let me start doing that. Okay, just so you can see what we got going on here. <clears throat> I made a bunch of patches from the fiberglass. <clears throat> we can trim it afterwards. Excuse my voice. Uh, right here was a big spot that cracked in the middle of this part of the dash. So I cut one big piece to go across there and I'm just going to pack it down with the resin. And then it was a small crack here. And then we come over here and then there was a pretty good sized crack that went all the way up to there. And it, it didn't come all the way across, but it split into two. So I did this to give it some strength. And then there was no crack here, but I added that for strength. And then there was a crack here that snaked over to here. And then there was a crack here that came up to here. And then there was a crack over here. And then you saw that big crack that was in here. So I just covered that with one big piece. And then this crack went across. So I put this little piece here to patch it. And that's where that crack one across there and then I put this piece here to give this some strength and this piece here to give this some strength because that's where this piece fell out and we welded it back in uh, I was going to put a piece there but I don't know that I need it I might go ahead and put some in there anyway just to strengthen the whole dash and that's the main reason why I put all this in here was to strengthen the whole dash I'm not going to use this fiberglass for anything else so 
you know, and this is just an experiment. If this doesn't work, we're going to have to find us a junk truck and get another dash out, out of it, which I promise you would be cheaper. You could probably get a dash cover for about $100. So I'm going to mix up some resin, and we're going to slop it on here and make a mess. Okay, we got that coat on, and it's nice and hard. So we'll let that cure overnight. Then I'll throw another coat of uh, resin on there just to give it some strength. And then... Uh, I'll flip it over after that cures up and we'll see what it looks like on the other side. I know I'm going to need to do some work because uh, this part right in here, I don't know what happened, but while I was putting the uh, fiberglass on it, it came apart. I have no idea why. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay. It's the next day and uh, what I've done here is I have cut out like along here and some areas along here and here that had air pockets in here. And that needs strength, so I redid that. And over here, well, mostly right here, here, and here. Those weren't really necessary, but I cut them out anyway so that I could get the uh, air out of them and pour some resin down in there to strengthen it. And, uh, like right in here, you can see this is where the crack actually was. I added some more resin to the top of that. I'm going to put some more over that. I'm just letting this set up because this is kind of thick where I put put it in the air pockets. And uh, then we're going to flip it over and work on the top. Well, I am not a fiberglass man. That's for sure. Uh, everywhere you have these supports like this, <clears throat> um... The fiberglass mesh had to go over it and it made an air bubble and I cut some of them to release the air. Well, this one right here, I guess the added weight of the fiberglass caused it when we picked it up to crack and it cracked all the way across. We put it back down as quick as we could to stop it, but we had to reinforce it and I added these two sticks to it and wrapped them in fiberglass mesh and mat, whatever you want to call it. And I poured some resin on it and stuff like that. I'm going to have to clean this up over here because there's a piece of plastic on the dashboard that goes across here like that. That needs to sit smooth and even. If not, it doesn't fit right. So I'm going to have to clean this up. That's a big lump of uh, resin that was in the uh, mixing bowl that got hard. And uh, it when I was trying to mix it up with some new one, and it just globbed out on me. So I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit too. But... This was necessary to reinforce the dash. I don't think it cracked all the way across, but it sure enough gave out right here. You can see a crack right there that didn't seat too well. I was adding heat to it, trying to get it cured quicker enough. I guess that's what happens right there when you try to get it to cure quick. It uh, pops up like that. I'll add some more resin up underneath it and fix it. But anyway, um, Hopefully this will stabilize the dash enough that I can pick it up. And I measured to make sure there's like one little piece of foam that sits right here on the dashboard that we will, uh, we don't have to worry about. And there's nothing in here. So that works out good. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to turn the sucker over and, and uh, get it right next. Now I'm going to let this cure for a little while. And then I'll come out and I'll smooth all this out some so that it doesn't interfere with mounting the dash. All right, we got it flipped over, and it doesn't look good. I think I need to put some more reinforcement behind this particular crack here. It's going to take some filling in. This one doesn't look too bad over here on this side. It held up pretty good. And over here, this is this is a crack where when I picked it up before, it just cracked all the way across. And I got lucky it didn't finish there. <laughs> And then this crack here, got a couple of them where the staples went all the way through. I'm going to have to grind those down real quick. And we're going to be putting some filler in here. i got to cut that one off because it went all the way through. Uh, but overall, it's not terrible. There's a little dip right here. We're not going to worry about it too much because, well, like I said, we're going to fill it in. And then we're going to put some uh, bed liner over it. So let me get to it. All right, we've done some work on it. I sanded all the cracks down pretty even. Uh, you can still tell they're there. 
some places where the uh, plastic cracked and popped out, kind of like that spot there did. I filled them in with some JB Weld. Uh, here I added some more epoxy. Here I'm going to have to put some Bondo. It dips down pretty good. But uh, I put some JB Weld in here, fill in some more cracks. All right, we got the resin sand down, sanded down, and I got some, uh, what do you call this, uh, Bondo with fiberglass, Bondo glass. And uh, we spread it out on here to fill in these bumpy bumps that we had. Um, still feels a little, I mean, I guess it's done, but I'm going to let it sit up a little while longer. It feels kind of, you know, that's smoother than that, so that feels like it's not cured as good. So, we'll let it cure up a little bit longer. We'll sand it, and if it looks good, we'll clean it up, and we'll hit it with the uh, bed liner. All right, we got all the Bondo glass sanded down. I think it's looking pretty good. It doesn't feel lumpy or bumpy anymore. It's nice and smooth. All the cracks are hidden. I think the uh, Bondo glass is going to add to it. I've got the entire dash um wiped down and ready for bed liner i'm gonna use herculiner <clears throat> those are the cheapest thing out there <laughs> cases don't work anyway let me get to it i'm gonna go ahead and spray the uh, herculiner on there all right this stuff is pretty straightforward you just spray it on that's what i'm using right here it's kind of like spray paint as you can see right there We'll just start down here. And we'll just put on some small coats. Try to avoid runs if you can. I guess it would help if I showed you what I was getting at here. I think it looks great. Better than it did. front edge get all the edges in and we'll just spray the whole thing we can do laying it on there lightly we'll go back over it again I'm already digging it you can very easily puddle this so you don't want to puddle it It doesn't say on the can how long it takes it to dry, but it looks like it's drying in pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this sit for about five minutes and hit it again with another coat. Okay, I got the second and the third coat on. Need to let it dry probably 24 hours. I like the way it looks overall. I would leave it like that, except for it wouldn't match any of the parts like goes in here, the handle or anything. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Just let this dry up and uh, we can paint it the uh, inside color. We got some, uh, I think it's a uh, dupli color, come from AutoZone, it's vinyl and fabric paint. It's the same color that matches the interior of the truck. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with it. It's not near as bad as it was and it looks awesome to me. Anyway, we're going to let this dry up, and we'll be back with the painting when it's done. Okay, we got it painted. Uh, put two coats of paint on here. I think it looks awesome. has a, a dull shine to it right now. It'll probably dry a little flatter after a while. Looks very OEM to me. 
Um, still had that bump there. I don't know what that bump was from. It was uh, in the dash when I pulled it out. And it had a little imperfection there that I didn't fill in all the way, but that's okay. I got tired of messing with it. I don't know how well it's going to hold up, even though there's a crack here. It's solid from the back side. I just didn't put anything on it because the bezel is going to hide most of that, just like right here. <clears throat> um, but overall, I think it looks fantastic, and I think we're going to go ahead and put it in the truck. I painted it with the Duplicator vinyl and fabric paint. Matches the interior perfect. And it's uh, 24 hours for it to dry, and then another three to five days for it to cure. And like you want to throw something up here and don't do it for like three to five days. <laughs> Probably give it a week. But anyway, I think it looks fantastic. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the truck and uh, leave it at that. It looks a hell of a lot better than it did with all those cracks and stuff in it. Hopefully it won't give, them, give me no trouble going back in. If it does, as long as it fits good enough, I'll be happy with it. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, how about leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And tell your friends about me and uh, share the video if you can. Um, other than that, I hope you have an awesome day.